David Cameron is, of course, a very smooth customer. I remember years ago when he was at university, I was always told to walk on the opposite side of the road, and I obeyed the instructions very carefully. I have never been under any uh, illusions about David Cameron, though he was for a while my MP and was very helpful. So I'm not particularly surprised that there is a... Uh, a ghost of suspicion uh, about uh, his involvement with China uh, over the Sri Lankan port city Colombo scheme and he had said that he hadn't been involved with China for a while but two months ago he's on video, caught on video, shaking hands, receiving gifts um, and th the, the real problem with this scheme is the way in which it compromises the sovereignty of Sri Lanka, the tax and the territorial agreements, which are perhaps, well, they raise question marks, and maybe the Parliamentary Standards Committee should be investigating, certainly the Cabinet Office should be investigating, the extent to which David Cameron uh, is involved in this project. Uh, he may be some sort of figurehead, he may not fully be as hands-on as some of his adversaries suggest, but it's um, it's the sort of project which, if if it gets into uh, if the host country gets into difficult trouble, uh, it could find itself in debt to China, the much bigger power. It's, it, it gives China a foothold in another territory. Uh, that, that's the fear. On the plus side, and as Cameron defended himself today, on the plus side is one has to take risks in order to uh, reach out and build better relationships with countries, even those countries that perhaps have not engaged as fully and as openly as one might prefer. I would uh, I would engage as readily with China as I would with um, Russia and France. Uh, I, I would be ready to do business with any country if they were to be if they were to show some sort of um, optimistic indicators. I think doing business is a good thing and I think sanctions are a bad thing and a business relationship is the basis for developing friendship. But having no relationship, it's, um, it's a basis for seclusion, isolation, and building resentment. I think the quickest way to um, stop the war in Ukraine, the quickest way to stop the war in Israel, is through our business relationships and I think one of the one of the futures of Palestine and of Gaza is to ensure that it can develop its own industry, its own infrastructure, and do business not only with its neighbour Israel but also with the outside world. That is the way forward. That is the way forward for Ukraine. That is the way forward for Russia. Business gets people meeting and talking. And so from that point of view, I entirely agree with uh, Cameron's better instincts. Uh, I, of course, I'm projecting here. I'm projecting I have no idea what his instincts are. And um, I can only hope. I can only hope that they are good. But uh, I don't think he can disguise the fact that there is a relationship, that he has got an ongoing relationship with China. But if he's got a relationship with China, when so many people do not seem to have a flourishing relationship with China, uh, when America's relationship with China is uh, at a low ebb, then we have got a great positive. Uh, China is a power that we must deal with and we must be friends with. I think China is a positive on the world stage and uh, pretending that we are um, nursing a grudge is the best way to develop one. So reach out with business. It's the basis for friendship.